Hi there, Tech Ritzone is here at CES, and as you'd expect, TVs are making big news this year again, especially the OLEDs with Sony. They've announced that they'll be available in the U.S., and possibly, very strong possibility that we'll be seeing them in Canada at some time this year. But OLEDs aren't the only thing making news in terms of TVs. we got LCDs, we got plasmas. They're getting thinner, they're getting slimmer. A lot of changes happening. The TVs are based on OLED, or organic light-emitting diode technology. OLED is an emerging flat panel display technology that uses an organic material that emits its own light, so no backlight is needed, and that means displays are much thinner. The screens also consume less power than competing technologies, handle fast-moving images better, and offer good color reproduction. Sony's 11-inch OLED TV, called the XEL1, is just 3 millimeters thick, considerably less than that of competing flat panel sets, but with a beautiful picture but expect to splurge a fair bit because it doesn't come cheap at $2,500 US. No date or price has been set for the Canadian launch as of yet. Samsung is showing off two different size prototype screens at CES, a 14 inch and a 31 inch, but the company doesn't expect to put them on the market for at least another year as it continues to develop the technology and reduce the cost. Samsung doesn't want them on store shelves until the price is roughly that of LCD. Detractors of OLED say there are still problems such as a three to four year screen life, if you're after a thin TV, they have alternatives, a slimmed down LCD or plasma. The big LCD and plasma makers all unveil thin flat panel sets that are just an inch or two thick, and these are not small TVs. Sharp unveiled a 65 inch with a panel that is about one inch thick, while Samsung unveiled their ultra slim line of 52 inch panels that are less than an inch thick. The sets are getting slimmer thanks to thin backlights, the light source that sits behind the LCD panel. The frame around the screen is also getting thinner, and manufacturers are finding ways to embed the speakers along the four sides of the display for an even cleaner look. Plasma makers have also followed suit with their own technologies. For a true theater experience, Panasonic unveiled a massive 150-inch plasma TV, the world's largest. It's essentially nine 50-inch panels put together. Panasonic hasn't decided when it will be launched or how much it will cost, but the 103-inch shown at last year's CES has a hefty price tag of $60,000 to $70,000. So there you have it, from big TVs to wireless TVs to thin TVs to all kinds of TVs. Now, a lot of these won't be in stores anytime soon, but with prices falling the way they are and technology evolving, they could be in your living room sooner than you think. For PCWorld.ca, I'm Tech Ritzonis.